Hello and greetings to you all and I'm wishing you all a happy new year. Uh, unfortunately, 2022 started not too good for me. Uh, January the 1st, I got sick. Uh, very sick actually, uh, with flu-like symptoms where I had really bad sore throat. I was coughing uh, intensely. I have a fever, muscle ache, fatigue, and I got checked for COVID and it was negative, but I got all this flu-like symptom. And in fact, um, uh, during that first week, it, sore throat was so painful that uh, trying to eat or drinking is like swallowing broken glass. I mean, it's that bad. Um, and then, of course, even at that time, you know, I, I had to isolate myself because I don't know exactly what I had. And then um, my computer, the one I'm using for recording, my computer broke down uh, to add to the pain that I was already going through. And then, of course, I had friends who got COVID and also some uh, family members of church, of church members who, who died. And so it was terrible. And it, I, I remember just kind of languishing and, and praying about it because I was really feeling uh, depressed and, and sad. And it was a time, I would say, where I was longing to hear some good news. I was hoping to hear some good stories. Because whenever I switch on the news and listen, I'm sure you have experienced that too. All I get are disasters happening in the world. Some crimes, some economic turmoil, um, the spread of the virus, uh, political problems. I mean, there's just... Uh, depressing and um, and I was saying I need some good news and uh, so I think about it I, th I think that it is exactly uh, what the world needs today what people need today we need to hear good news but the things that is provided to us all over through what kinds of, all kinds of network is all bad news but the gospel of Jesus Christ, you know, when we think about it, is good news. God is the storyteller. Jesus Christ told stories about his plan of salvation. There's a lot of good news that he gives. <clears throat> and I firmly believe that, <clears throat> that our calling as Christians is to be storytellers, to tell people about the kind of life that we have now in Jesus Christ. Notice in 1 Peter, let me read 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. It says, But in your hearts, revere Christ our Lord. How do we do that? How do we worship Christ our Lord? Here, Peter says, Always, always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have but do this with gentleness and respect. That, that is telling us, it says, always be prepared to give an answer. Be prepared to tell your story. God has done an amazing story in your life. You, you know, as a Christian, you know what kind of life you had before. And when Jesus came into our lives, you know that story and how great that is. So we are called to be storytellers. I'm sure you have friends, you have acquaintances who right now need to hear some good news, need to hear a good story. And I think God is sending us to them to share them the wonderful story that we have heard, that we have read in the scriptures, but also the story of God working in our lives. And that is certainly good news. And that is something that the world needs to hear. Or maybe the friends you have who are hungering for that good story. So go tell. Let us share the good news and tell them the story of Jesus. Amen.